All right, guys, we are back again. Um, snow on the ground, street car, not going to call it a race car. Snow on the ground, street car, very, very odd. Back here in Pennsylvania for the holiday season. I know it's the day before Christmas Eve. So, Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy holidays. Hope you guys are doing great. For everyone asking about the sweepstakes winner, it'll be announced just after Christmas. The way it works is all the entries are submitted, and then I have to wait for the sweepstakes company to send me the winner. So everyone's like, hey, who's the winner? Who's the winner? We'll know here shortly, so be patient. The Christmas gift will be after Christmas. Someone will receive the news that they just won a 650-horsepower Turbo Colorado. Uh, other than that, we got our Storm Training Day Rodeo coming up March 2nd. If you guys are interested, I'll put the flyer on the screen. Uh, contact me, johndockrecovery at gmail.com. Say you're coming. Say you're interested. Also, the first, description, the first link in the description below will be a link to our Facebook event. If you are coming, please say that you're coming on there so we know how to pre prepare the food because we're going to have food there. We're going to have a lot of knowledge and a lot of opportunity for y'all to make some money. Enough about that stuff. It's cold as shit. As much as I want to stand out here in the freezing cold and talk to you guys about this car, which everyone loves so much, it's going to be a controversial video. It's going to be a very, very controversial video. Uh, we're going to try to get it done quick so we can go back into the warmth. So um, for those of you guys that don't know this car, this is Hank. It is our street car. It is a six liter iron block, 408 cubic inch LS based power plant with a uh, custom nasty racing twin turbo kit, uh, force inductions, TDI turbos on there, VS racing control with the hot side, cold side, some Parker speed turbo mounts. It's a pretty well-rounded kit works really well we've made like over 1600 horsepower with it or just i should say over 1500 just at 1600 horsepower with it running on pump e85 it's been great four second car uh driving around rear mount intercooler everything is great uh we're currently at like a crossroads which is going to bring up a lot of you got to be very strategic and you got to be careful what you do when you, you get to this point in the build we're chassis limited we're limited on our fuel system. The motor is probably at, it doesn't want to make any more safely. The turbos are at peak efficiency, but we want to go faster. So what do we do? We sell everything and we start over. So <laughs> we are going to do some upgrades uh, along the way. And this is kind of different than how I've done things before. In the past, I just normally like go all out from the start. But this car, when it was originally built, you know, I was planning to do a giveaway with it and just have something to run, you know, 550s with and then the car was just awesome everyone started driving it uh, the car worked really well we started having a bunch of fun and we're like man you know this is a car logan cj mason anthony uh everyone we got to move the seat back to get david and tyler to make some laps but everyone was driving this car and having a blast doing it and i kind of fell in love with the car it's a little bit beat up um it's not the the best looking car as far as like it's just stock it's just got a parachute off the back i haven't put a hood on it anything like that but the car works really well so when we got to this point where you know to go you know 490s 50s like clockwork really fun to drive around um i wanted to go a little bit faster and that's you have to really change everything you put a uh, bigger fuel system on there that can be expensive but then you need to upgrade the turbos and upgrade the motor and then upgrade the chassis so i'm like you know why don't we just upgrade it all at once and uh, we'll just slowly um buy parts stockpile them and then when it's time we'll make the swap so you guys know we are i guess we'll start with the engine um we're gonna end up taking this motor out and putting it in our new shop truck we're gonna build another colorado and um this 408 cubic inch motor stock heads nothing crazy is gonna go in there and probably live the rest of its life making seven eight hundred horsepower driven around on the street the uh the turbo kit we're just going to sell so this turbo kit will be for sale um I don't know about the intake. Uh, ideally, you would sell it with the intake so then everything bolts right up. So maybe we'll sell it with elbow and intake and everything included. But pretty much uh, what we're going to do is we're going to headers, hot side, turbos, exhaust, cold side, intercooler, charge pipe, probably throttle body, elbow, and intake manifold. This will all go as one complete unit. And uh, the reason being is when we stick this 427-inch motor in there, we're going to go from an S300 base turbo to an S400 base turbo, which is quite a bit larger. So the exhaust won't fit. The hot side won't fit. We're going to ditch the intercooler because at the track, we're going to run on methanol on the street. We'll run E85 since we non-intercooled, so you don't need that. So instead of modifying this amazing turbo kit that we have right now, we're just going to start over. If all it is is making some hot side and a charge pipe, really not bad. The exhaust titanium exhaust tiss fab you guys can always go to their website and use code ls nasty to get a discount um, but i think the right move would be 
to sell the whole turbo kit, sell everything all included. So someone, if they do have a new edge, which would be awesome if they were to pick this up, they can bolt this whole thing on. You would have to build a couple braces. You know, you'd have to come off of the frame to build a brace for the, um, the turbos if you want to brace them. Some people like to live on the edge and not brace them. I probably would brace them. Um, but yeah, so we're going to ditch the... Um, we're going to ditch the intercooler. We're going to run an E85, and that leads us to our fuel system. We were at that crossroads where we, we, we got a nice fuel system for what we have, but we want to be able to make that 2,000-plus horsepower on methanol, so we're going to go uh, with, like, a Motion Raceworks cable drive and an Airmotive Black in the back and um, just, just have the ability to have as much fuel as we need. Uh, new intake. I'm looking at some of the dual-injector BTR stuff. Uh, they seem really nice. Dual injectors run two sets of Bosch 210s, switch over to the Holly Smart Coils, just make some tasteful upgrades along the way. Now, I know what you guys are saying. Well, you do all that. What about the transmission, driveline, rear end, uh, and cage? Well, yes, all of that stuff needs to be addressed. It is a, a stock width, really just a stock rear end uh, with some axles. Shout out to the guys at uh, Morning Glory Motorsports. Um, they got me hooked up with you know all the stuff for the rear end. I got axles and a spool and a gear and everything. Um, we're, we're going to just ditch the 8.8. We're going to go with a 9-inch. We're going to go with some torque boxes. We're going to do a more race chassis 25.5 cage. So put a race tech seat in there. You'll have your head containment. You'll have the nice cage. You'll be able to go fast, insert. Transmission-wise, we're going to ditch a power glide. I got a spare two-speed 400, an M&M two-speed with a Circle D converter. And then you pretty much got yourself a, a mid to low four second hot rod, all steel, all glass trim. That uh, will be a fun car to not only drive around, run water through, still got the radiator, but take to the track and whoop some ass. So that is the tentative game plan. I say tentative because that is a whole lot of work. You're essentially taking this thing down to a bare chassis again and doing it all over again. Um, some people would say, man, why even bother tearing this car apart? Why don't you just do it to another one? Uh, well, a lot of the parts on this, you will sell off to fund it. So in the end, you know, a lot of the parts that we have already have at the shop or traded and bartered for, we should be able to have a nice piece for not too much additional investment to where we are now. So that's going to be the game plan. We are selling stuff off Hank. Not right now. We got to get, you know, through the first, I'd say get through March, January, February, March, and then we can really dive into this build, get the motor done from TKM, go out here, get the transmission, all that stuff stuffed in the car, get the chassis all sorted out, put some torque boxes in there, get a rear end for it, and then, you know, it really comes to building the turbo kit. So give us a little bit of time before you guys start blowing me up saying you want to buy stuff because I'm not going to take apart a good running car and just have it sit there for no reason. When time allows to work on this, that's when we'll start this build and get ready. So um, that's going to wrap it up. Um, there's your news. Merry Christmas to you guys. We're doing another build. What else is new? As the builds kind of slim down because we get rid of some shit, I add more. What else is new? So um, there it is. Hank's going to get tore apart and cut apart. We're selling some stuff off it. You guys could be the, the ones to own it if you're interested, uh, but not yet. So that's going to wrap it up. I'm freezing my ass off. I'm going inside. It's too damn cold in here. It's, too, it's out here. I don't even know what, I don't know what I'm saying right now. Thank <laughs> you.